ko Dylan Mark Taylor Smala tuku ingoa, ko Aitanga Mahaki tuku iwi, ko Maunga Homia tuku maunga, ko Whanau Ate Kai tuku hapu, ko Waipo tuku awa. I'm a rapper, producer and clothing designer. Alcohol started pretty young for me. I mean, I was surrounded by it when I was young. I had addictions by the time I was at college for weed and cigarettes. After then, I got a new addiction and it was crime. It led to me getting locked up. I got locked up in boys' homes when I was young. I got more and more jail each time and more and more drugs. And that's when methamphetamine came into the, the scene. And I really took to that drug, but it was hard to kind of keep keep that habit up because it obviously is an expensive drug so I had to deal and actually the rock bottom point that I hit in my life was from dealing methamphetamine and, and coming to a point where I got busted from the police and I was caught red-handed and I just go oh man I've had enough and I actually made the choice to go to um, rehab. The supervisors that were there they had all drug fueled paths too so we were able to connect there wasn't like someone who hasn't been down that path telling me this and that, it was actually people with previous experience and I really listened to them. New Zealand's a beautiful place in that sense because you can ring up someone today, they will take the time to talk to you about your drug use and actually want to help you. That incident had to happen, really. I don't think that I would have jumped out of the methamphetamine dealing if I didn't get busted. You know, I was able to get caught and get my life back on track basically. And that was one of the defining factors that I had to happen for me to change. My passion for music has been there since I was very young, like 14. I guess I was listening to Tupac. A song called Dear Mama really touched me and I really wanted to make a song like that. Right before I got busted from the police, my passion for music was kind of going down and that's when I knew, like, will I ever get it back? That was a question that I asked myself. Going to rehab kind of re-triggered my passion, so that was cool. And then we we're coming to the end of my two months in rehab, and one of my supervisors was like, "So, what are you gonna do from here?" Oh man, I want to do music. We found that they had an audio engineering school in Christchurch and in Auckland. I got out of rehab and went home, packed all my gears, and I flew the next day to Auckland and started school. And this whole time I was on bail. So that whole time while I was studying, I kind of had this black cloud around me just saying, oh man, I might be going to jail and, you know, and I kind of had a chip on my shoulder still, bit of an attitude. I went to the court and um, the judge gave me six months community detention. Once I got sentenced and stuff and I, and I did that, I went back to school and I started to change my own attitude. I started to respect people a lot more and actually understand that I was in an environment, a perfect environment for myself. I started breaking down these barriers in my mind. I graduated with distinction at school and I grew an appetite for learning so I decided to do diploma as well. I got halfway through the year and my partner, she lost our baby, we were gonna have a baby and drugs came back into my life at that stage and I fell back into the trap and knowing how far I've come and that I shouldn't you know, continue down this road and I was able to get my mind clear again and, um, and start a new beginning with my girlfriend and build strong, strong bonds with her and we tried again and, and then we had another baby and, and our baby was good and healthy and, and now he's four months old and it's real awesome. One of the tutors was saying there's three keys to success that you should be on time, do great work and have a great attitude. That was kind of one of the things that helped me change my attitude and reason why I should change my attitude. Yeah, I'm always on time and I'm always um, try to do my best work and also keep a good attitude.